Hey there and welcome to a brand new Blender video. In this one we are not going to model what you can see on the screen, but we are rather going to talk about why your glass materials look odd. Or it's not the materials, it's actually the glass itself. So when you look at this, this looks on the first glance fine, but something seems off. You can see it's a render. Why can you see it? Well, because the glass isn't really behaving the way it should be. While the model is done okay, it's fine, uh, the material is well done as well, you can still see that we get some really weird distortions in our glass objects, which you shouldn't be seeing. In this case, I have pre-rendered this so you can see what exactly I mean. And after this video, we will be going from something that looks like this, uh, especially take a look at this more simpler form like this cube, but also the rest. We will be going from this to this. As you can see, it's a stark difference, especially in the cube. Uh, so when you have more angular glass or anything like this, you will be noticing it especially uh, in this cube, but also in the glass. In the curvature at the bottom here, as you can see, we have quite a bit of change and it's a lot smoother. Uh, take note that I actually haven't subdivided this and you can see the angling here and it's uh, very angular overall and once I Apply the change I, I've talked about you can see that we get a lot smoother results without any subdivision and you can also see it here um, at the knurling here at the poking extrusions that they just behave a lot more uh, as they should so what is this simple but very nice trick which will uh, make this work? Well, it's quite easy. Uh, here you can see we have exactly what we had before. And we want to do two steps. We want to select our things. Then we want to press W. And then Shade Auto Smooth. Now in itself that won't do anything in this case. So since we have sufficient uh, geometry, we won't have any sharp edges. Uh, what will actually change it will be to go to the modifier tab and then select weighted normal. Now this is applied only to this object, not to these here. So we're going to select this, this, and then this at the end. So it has the orange outline, control L, and then look for copy modifiers. As soon as we hit that, each of these objects will share the modifier that this has, and you can see the distortion goes away. I can again show you this was the before and this was the after. So this already looks a lot better. Let me show you a, another thing that we can do. Let me just get a cube. Now everything is dark. This is a very extreme thing to do. I'm going to take this face, inset it, bring it inwards, select everything, give it a bevel like so. Not many segments, I'm not going to subdivide it or anything. I just want this here to be the origin. You do not have to follow along with anything I am doing right now. I'm going to angle it in a specific way. Let's bring it to the center. I'm going to give it another material, a dispersion glass, this one. If you uh, want to know how I did this glass here, I suggest that you take a look at the other tutor uh, tutorials I made about this topic. and You should be good to go. So we want to have this cube here as our focus point not the camera itself, but the cube. And you will be able to see that this is what we get. Now, if I shade this smooth, you will see it will look really, really weird. Uh, we can see it has all sorts of distortions, especially in the viewport. We can see we have these lines it's, uh, behaving like it has curvature over here. It has curvature over here going around. And overall, it's not a nice looking result. But we're going to do the same things as before. W, shade auto smooth, apply the weighted normal modifier, and boom, everything is in 
order. You can see how much better it looks already. So let's go into rendered view without the modifier. So I deselected it, I disabled it, and you can see it behaves the same as when I clicked on uh, Shade Smooth. There is no difference whatsoever, but you can still see there is creases. Once I enable this, you can see the glass is crystal clear. You can see from one end to the other, there is accurate reflections. Even though we do not have much geometry, everything just works. And that is great. We need this to work with as little topology as possible in order to get the fastest render times. Of course, if you have objects with a lot of curvature, I would still suggest you apply subdivision before, but for objects like this, uh, like this, there is no subdivision needed. Um, so yeah, I hope this quick tutorial helped you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.